Disney presents Acid Trip, the movie, better known as A Wrinkle in Time. Now, I never really watched, or not watched, read the book, so I had to sort of fill myself in on the lore of the story through Wikipedia. And I remember it being a little weird, but not too hard to follow. Unfortunately, <clears throat> this film ramps up the weirdness and makes it very hard to follow, but not impossible. I was fairly entertained, but man, was it a trip. First, let's talk about the villain. Basically, it's an unseen, intangible evil that's part of the universe, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't bad as a villain. And when it was around, you could tell it was around. It was something you felt in your spine. But <clears throat> I could have done with something you could punch. Seriously. This, whatever it was, you could not punch for all the tea in China. Then there was the three guide characters. Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, and Mindy Kaling. The lady from The Mindy Show, if any of you have heard of it. <clears throat> they were okay. Reese was kind of, um, not mean per se, but a little ditzy. Excuse me. <coughs> like I said, Reese was a little ditzy. Mindy was quirky, but comforting. Oprah was Oprah, pretty much. <clears throat> and they all played their parts well, but I don't recall if they were 100% book accurate. I don't recall if any of the book of the film is 100% book accurate. But it was still entertaining. Anyway, back to the cast. <clears throat> the kids were a mixed bag. The main lead, the little girl, she was okay, although I think she studied the archetypes she was meant to portray and portrayed them a little too closely without adding a bit of herself to him. <clears throat> but hopefully she'll be able to improve her talent with time. She has potential. She wasn't bad. Uh, the boy, the older boy that is, he was a little wooden, but we got a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Depth to his character later in the film. <clears throat> As for the little boy, the kid, the little one, the little brother, brother, excuse me, he was, well, I can't say without spoiling it, but <clears throat> he ran the gambit for archetypal characters, and I found his quirks to be a little annoying at times, but not bad. <clears throat> the brother and sister kind of worked off on each other, worked off of each other, excuse me, pretty well. As for the parents, the mom was a mom. Chris Pine, as the dad, was not bad. 
he didn't get a lot of screen time, <clears throat> but when he did get screen time, Chris Pine acted the heck out of his role. Maybe a little too old school theatery, but it wasn't bad. Chris Pine is always a win. <clears throat> As for a couple of background characters, I'm not going to spoil it, but some of them go through an arc, while others sort of add flavor to the film. Honestly, the whole cast added to the film the way the various flavors in Dr. Pepper add to the beverage. Overall, they did all right. <clears throat> and I'm not kidding or lying when I say the effects made the movie looked like a complete and total acid trip. There was CG, and you could tell it was CG, but they made it so the CG added to the overall effects rather than look fake. As for <clears throat> practical stuff, they used glitter. I kid you not, they actually used glitter. And it really helped the overall effect that they were going for. Basically, using an acid trip for time travel. I know I keep saying acid trip, but you gotta watch this thing to know what I'm talking about. But don't watch it in 3D. You'll get a splitting headache. You don't need to see it in 3D, trust me. 2D looks like 3D but in a good way. <laughs> Overall, <clears throat> A Wrinkle in Time was weird and hard to follow, but not boring. I can't, for the life of me, say that it was boring. <clears throat> As for modes of time travel, I think I'll stick with a DeLorean or a TARDIS. Because the way they did it in the film was a little too headachey for my taste. This is Mr. J, signing out. Until next time.